Click the Invoices icon in the Customer section. We'll be using the Product Invoice Template for Suzanne's business. If your business is service-oriented, the forms are very similar. To select a different type of invoice, use the Template drop-down menu. Close the drop-down box. The top section of the invoice is called the header and contains basic information. The date, the invoice number, ship to, and bill to information. The main body of the invoice, called line items, is where we'll enter our itemized list of products sold. This area also shows the balance due, which is currently at zero. Click the Customer Job drop-down menu and select Eddie's Rewind Video. If we were creating an invoice for a new customer, we would click Add New to open the New Customer dialog box. QuickBooks automatically fills in the Bill To and Ship To fields. If the customer information has changed, we could enter it here. The date defaults to today, but for our scenario, we need to change the date. To change the date, we could either type it in, or use the calendar drop-down list, or use the plus and minus keys on the keyboard. Let's try that. Click in the date field, and press the plus key. The date advances by one day. This is handy if the default date is close. Suzanne changed the date to February 2, 2007. When we tab out of the Invoice Date field, QuickBooks automatically assigns the ship date. We can start with any invoice number, and QuickBooks will incrementally increase that number with every invoice and credit memo created. We'll leave the default at 1. This area is used to enter further shipping information like PO number and terms. Net 15 appears in the Terms field because that's what we entered on the customer card. QuickBooks allows us to change the terms for any individual invoice. Leave the terms as they are for this one. Enter a sales representative here if applicable. This is the ship date, method of transport, and the FOB, or shipping arrangements. Click in the first line of the quantity column and enter a 6. Under Item Code, use the drop-down menu and scroll down until you can select Muffins. We could also just start by typing the name of an item and QuickBooks will autofill the item name, even if it is a sub-item.